Recently, I've been seeing these fascinating videos on Instagram. An artist in Tucson is creating these amazing little prints using erasers. Of course, I had to try it. I didn't want to commit much money to a new craft. I wasn't even really sure I was going to like. So I started with these Dollar Tree erasers and just a Sharpie for the ink. Luckily, I already had a Lino tool, but new tools are like 15 bucks from Amazon or from your local art supply store. I found that the cheap erasers were just a little too stretchy. They resisted cutting and they resulted in ragged edges and incomplete cuts. Whereas the pink pearls have just the right amount of softness and give. If you don't want to commit to a bulk box from Amazon, Target sells three packs for less than $2. My ink pad is from Staples and it was about seven bucks. I am clearly no expert, but this is what I picked up just from doing it. When you're just starting out, very simple images work best. What you cut will be light and what you leave will be dark. So you have to think in the negative. You also have to think backwards, but most of the time it doesn't really matter unless you're including words in your design. For cleaner, more precise edges, use shallow little cuts. When cutting curvy lines, it helps to keep the tool steady and rotate the eraser. If you're not entirely happy with the first result, you can still make a few adjustments. Pretty happy. Pretty good. But if it's a completely lost cause, you can still always use the backside. If you don't want to buy an eraser or special tools, or maybe you want to do this with kids and you don't want them handling pointy things, there is an alternative. Instead of an eraser, you can use styrofoam. Instead of the lino cutter, you can use a pen or a pencil. The results are not gonna be nearly as precise and also they're gonna be much lighter since the styrofoam doesn't hold ink very well. You can get bolder prints by dipping it into paint, but I like how compact and tidy the ink pad is. Other than being a fun and creative way to reuse trash, this method also allows for bigger prints and you can cut the blocks into shapes.
Okay, I need you to help me out. Okay, you ready? Put your one foot there. Try again. Let's try it on paper first. One more time. You're being booked. Okay, that works. Quite look alright. Boy, your toes are really spread out, bud. Perfect. Hilarious. Cute though.